gotta do a second take of this. God damn. Anyway, this is a Nintendo Switch. It's not a good one. They're all shit. Now, before you yell at me, I have a reason. My main reason is because yesterday, my system froze when I was in the pictures. I did have a game running in the background, but I was just in pictures. And my system totally froze. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I kept trying to do the power. Like, I, I tried to force shut it off. It only had about 3% battery left. And switches die very fast. The battery is not nice. So, I googled it. And it said, oh, you gotta just hold it in for 15 seconds. And I was like, I tried that like 50 times. So sometimes you might have to get frustrated for like an hour and then it'll finally work. Hopefully. So. Nintendo Switch Online. No. <laughs> the thing is, you pay so much money already. You pay for the Switch, which is about 300 US dollars. It's 299, I'm just adding some tax. Whatever. It's always different. You're basically going to be paying over $300 for this thing, no matter if you get it with the gray Joy-Cons or the blue and red Joy-Cons. I don't know about the fancy ones. I'm not talking about when the ones that include games or anything. I'm just talking about the raw Switch itself. So, oh, and another thing is, you're probably going to need to buy a protecting case. This was, I think, $30. It came with a screen protector. Um, I don't know where the screen protector is. I don't trust myself to put it on. Because of how that thing overheats. So I feel like it's not a good idea. That's just me though. That's just me being weird. Um, you're paying about 300 US dollars for the Switch. About 30 US dollars for a case. Uh, you're paying for your internet bill. Or your phone bill. Whatever you're using. Because I use Hotspot on my phone. Um, hmm, let's see. That's probably going to be a few hundred dollars. And... Oh yes, the games, which range from, if you're buying a physical copy, you're going to be paying at least like 30 to $80. Yes, I have seen Nintendo Switch games go for $80. I don't remember which, but they're expensive. So, why would you pay to use your internet? I mean, I understand the classic games. I would rather... I, I would rather have, like, a discount code. Like, Nintendo, listen to me. I would rather have you do... Instead of giving us all these old games that literally nobody cares about anymore, I would personally rather have, like... You pay for their internet service and you get, like... A discount you get like discounts on games like if if you want to buy a digital copy or go on their website or whatever or get a physical copy whatever you're a Nintendo online player you could get a copy of whatever and you get it for a discount price or you get extra features for games whenever you do online. Now, what uh, what Nintendo wants to do is just make you pay for internet, to use your internet. And the thing is, I've heard both sides. I've heard that it's a terrible thing, which I'm agreeing with. It's terrible. And I'm hearing that it's the best thing ever. Now, the reason why I think it's terrible is because you don't always have adults or not everybody can pay for internet. Some people who have a Nintendo Switch are children. You have to accept that. I'm salty about, like, kids getting, like, electronics and stuff given to them. I'm not gonna lie. But regardless of opinions or anything, if somebody is, like, a child, do you really think the parent's gonna wanna say, oh, yeah, little Timmy, I'm gonna pay an extra fee for this $300 system, so you can play online, even though the Wii, the Nintendo DS, the Nintendo 3DS, all these other systems did it for free. Now, I understand that, like, with the Nintendo DS, there was a 
what was it? A cartridge, I believe, that let you go online. But either way, it's still ridiculous. With the 3DS, I don't even know if that thing's obsolete yet, because Nintendo does not give a shit about it. Um, I have the original 3DS, and honestly, I think it's fine. I think just the 2DS was them trying to milk the last mo of their money out of it. And I prefer having a system that opens and closes rather than having this. Because that actually helps it gets less scratched. It's easier to transport. With this, with this even in the case, the case does not cover the Joy-Cons. And it does not cover... It, it covers the system, but it doesn't cover the Joy-Cons. So the Joy-Cons get ripped off with ease. <sighs> I can't just throw it in a bag. Like I could with my DS. Or my 3DS, which have hard-shelled, uh, cases that I own. So, yes, I am very salty. And the thing is, people might say, oh, it's only 20 bucks a month, or whatever, or year, or whatever. Doesn't matter. They have enough money. And the thing is, they're charging you this for virtually nothing. You get everything you get now for free. And honestly, I hope that we can get away with still playing our system online without updating the system. But knowing Nintendo, they're probably going to want to make more money out of us and probably charge even more fees if you do that. You know, I don't even have internet. I, I can't even afford internet. I have a phone. It has hotspot. It's a Walmart phone. It's not bad. But I mean, come on. So yes, I am quite salty, and I think Nintendo needs to fuck off and learn that it's not giving us anything. Why would you want Nintendo? Why would you want uh, like NES games, like Space Invaders and such, or whatever? That's like if they give you Pong. Do you really want Pong on this? I'd rather pay for it if I want it. Just give us discounts if you really. Don't make it mandatory. Don't make it mandatory to sign up. Make it so you get exclusive things. That's what they want to do. They want to say that, oh, we're giving you these exclusive games. Well, you know, you go on the internet and, like, play them for free. Or you could actually go, if you have the old consoles, play them if you own them. It's nothing new. Arcades, they might have some old games. I've seen that. I love them. I wish they still had most of them, though. Um, but you gotta understand, Nintendo, you make enough money, as it is. And I understand you're a business, and I totally respect that, but you're not a good business. When you do this, you get a lot of backlash, and I really hope this comes and bites you in the ass, and I hope that it fails. So, yes, that was my little take on the Nintendo Switch. I don't think it's a good I don't think it's a good idea to do online when they're offering you literally nothing. And I feel like I feel like they don't realize but their demographic most of the people that play are actually minors. So, I mean, yeah. And I understand that I'm going to have people telling me that I'm wrong or telling me that, "Oh, well, I play and I'm 30 and blah blah blah, whatever. It does not matter." There's still children playing. Every time I played Splatoon, it was always just minors. And it was frustrating. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Also, some games don't even work unless you have internet access. Which, I mean, you're already paying for internet. Why are you paying a fee to use your internet when you're being offered nothing? When it's always been free. So, yes. Anyway, that's me being salty. And I hope that people don't flock to my channel again. Because some dipshit made a video on me and people had been flocking even more to my channel. So, yes. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope everybody has a better day than I will. Because, yeah, I own a Switch. <laughs> also, please be careful if you use your, uh, your dock to hook it up to the television. Because I've still, I'm still hearing that people's systems are getting very overheated in them and warped. It just, it gets overheated even outside the case. I have to constantly take it out of this just because it gets so overheated and it just, oh, it's ridiculous. So yes, 
everybody be cautious. All right. Bye.